All right, let's take a look at this guy here. This is, um, this is we're going to look at the uh, isothermal process, right? Okay, so this is the, the isothermal process Xbox. All right, isothermal, there it is. Now, convince yourself it is isothermal. Look how it starts here. Uh, when, the, um, when the volume has been doubled, it goes from 2 to 4. Notice that the pressure has dropped by a factor of two, right? So this is uh, isothermal means PV equals PV, right? Okay, so, so notice that this, this is not an even number there, so we'll figure that out, right? Um, that's an isothermal process. So what's the pressure at point V? Well, PV over T, wow, what's it doing? <laughs> All right, let's try this. Let's go pen. Oh, there we go. All right, so PV, <laughs> the pen started being weird. PV over T is PV over T. Right, that's the combined gas law, right? T is the same, right? So P1V1 equals P2V2. All right, so we go 8E5. That's here, right? That's our initial one, right? Times 2 times 10 to the minus 3rd. Uh, equals, let's see, pressure 2. That's what we're trying to find, right? And the volume is 6. E minus 3, right? All right, so we're good here. We're going to go 8 E5 times 2 E minus 3 divided by 6 E minus 3. And I get, <laughs> I get 2, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 2.67 times 10 to the fifth Pascals. And indeed, if you look at this guy here, right, it's like, Kind of looks like it's that, right? It's a little more than half between two and three, right? Okay, so I actually I actually made a spreadsheet that did this for us, right? Okay, so 2.67 times 10 to the fifth. I doubt they're going to ask you for what the temperature is at point B. But remember, isothermal is same temperature. Okay, it's the same temperature. So the temperature at point B is 100 kelvins. Yay. Okay, so now let's find the Q, delta U, and W for this process. Now remember that Q is equal to delta U plus W, okay? Also remember that if the temperature doesn't change, remember U is 3 halves NRT, right? So the change in U is that we do the change in that. The change in temperature is nothing, so therefore the change in internal energy is zero, okay? For an isothermal process, that's always true, right? Okay. So then it says uh, the work done for the isothermal process, they have to tell you that. But actually, you guys possess enough calculus, and it's just basic calculus, that we could figure that out. I'll do that in a separate video, though, because we don't have to worry about that. It's not a calc-based test, right? But the work is 1760, and that is definitely positive work because it's the, the volume is increasing, right? And so let's let's do this, this rocket science here, right? Okay. Therefore, the heat that flows in is 1760, right? I kind of like that, right? Okay. So our heat that flows in is 1760. What does it do? It turns all to work. Violating the second law of thermodynamics, right? Of course, it will take an infinite amount of time to do it. So you won't be able to publish a paper about your, um, your uh, exploits, right? It'll take you an infinite amount of time, all right? Um, and... Is that it? I think we did it. All right.